Hello there, I'm Miranda from O2 and I'm going to walk you through setting up BlackBerry Internet email on the Nokia E51. We'll keep it simple. So I'll just need my SIM card in here, the memory card, the battery and of course the phone. And we'll leave the cables, manuals and CDs for another time. I'm going to assume in this setup that you have an internet email account and you've chosen a BlackBerry internet tariff as well. There are other ways to get your email, but nothing is as simple to set up and use. So the keyboard has a regular look and feel, so you should be familiar with it if you've used a Nokia mobile before. There's two selection keys that perform functions shown above the keys in the display. The Navi scroll key that you use to move around the menu and screens and that you click to make a selection. Surrounding this, you've got your quick keys to take you straight to the home screen, calendar, contacts, or email. And below this, the conventional green call key and the red end key. Between these, a backspace, delete. Now there's obviously more functions and buttons around the device, but you'll figure these out very quickly. The first time you switch on the device, you'll be asked to confirm the country, the city, then the date and time. The first time Wizard then pops up and you're shown step by step how to set it up. It's well worth giving it a go from the start as it's a great way to get to know your new handset and will also teach you some really useful typing tips and shortcuts. But it is worth mentioning that you can also set up your email via your PC or Mac. Now if you want to do it that way, just forward to the end of this video where I'll run through that option. For now, we're going to skip the wizard and start off from the home screen of the E51. You can always return to the setup wizard by jumping to menu, tools and set wizard. Now, in the middle of the screen you should notice a star and get an option to set up email. Now click on this and then select start email setup. Now press start here and you'll be given three options. In this video, we're showing how to set up BlackBerry, so we'll click on the BlackBerry Connect icon. Keep confirming the default option to install the BlackBerry software. Now, once it installs, say yes to turn it on. And choose no when asked whether or not you want to activate a corporate account. Now, you're halfway there already. You now need to configure it. Now, drop back to the home screen and go to the menu Find the new BlackBerry folder, it should be the last icon. Open this and click on Settings. Now choose Options and Register Now. Choose Yes and the bleep is a message arriving confirming you're registered. You'll find this message on the home screen. And now the final stage for most of you. Open the browser, which is the little globe at the top of the screen. Choose Yes to Connect and you'll find yourself on the O2 Active web page. Choose Options, Bookmarks, then press up once to the BlackBerry Account Setup bookmark. You'll then be asked to read Terms and Conditions. If you're happy, click Yes and then the I Agree button. If you do encounter any problems, don't worry. Close down the browser and return to the home screen, then reload the browser and try again. You're then prompted to enter your email address and password. Now, this is going to be your usual email address. For example, miranda02 at yahoo.co.uk. Insert numbers by holding down the key and insert the at symbol by hitting the number one key six times. If you have a business email address, such as name at company.com, there are a couple more steps. For now, follow these instructions and I'll cover that after this setup. Now enter the password. If you hit the wrong key or think you've made a mistake, hit the delete key and try again. Now, when you're done, click next. And that's it. For most email accounts like Google Gmail and Yahoo Mail, this is all you will need to do. You're sent an email confirming your settings are activated successfully. Emails will now be automatically delivered to your Nokia E51 
along with any attachments. As well as reading them, you can do all the usual things such as replying, forwarding or composing new emails. Right, now if you have a personal email address, you need to add a few more details to tell the BlackBerry system where your email is stored. You'll need to know your username and incoming server details. If you use Outlook, these should be in the Mail Setup area under Options. So let's link to a second email account. Load the browser again, selecting the BlackBerry Setup bookmark if necessary. Now select Add an email account. Type in your email address and password as before. Now this time you'll get a message saying that it was unable to configure. Select I will add the settings and Next. Select what type of account it is. Now in this case it's an internet service provider rather than exchange. And now choose I will provide the settings. Remember the details we saw in the Outlook settings. This is where I get the username and email server settings from. My username is the same as my email address and it has remembered the password I typed earlier. And my email server is pop.oneandone.co.uk and then click Next. And hey presto, you receive confirmation that this email account is now set up. Emails will now arrive automatically for this account as well. Now, as I mentioned at the start, you can also enable emails via your PC or Mac. First though, you'll need to make a note of the E51's PIN and IMEI numbers. You can find it like this. Go to the BlackBerry folder in your menu, open the folder, choose Settings, and click to the furthest tab on the right. And there we are, your PIN and IMEI numbers. Now let's make a note of these two numbers and then go to www.02email.co.uk. OK, let's choose New Account, Agree to the Legals, and enter the PIN and IMEI numbers. Then follow the prompts to create a new email address now whether you do it via your device or computer, it really is quite simple. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it useful. If you liked it, please do tell a colleague or visit youtube.com forward slash busy email for more of them.